It is I, your friend Jeffrey K. Horkims. Now, I am joined. Stand up. Uh, What's happening right now? I have some pants. Is oh, the what, pants! Is this what you're trying to the communicate pants. here? I love everything about these pants right now. Just and flip I, a I, leg up there. Look at that. <laughs> Here for K. Horkins. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> we are in the Christmas holiday spirit. The crucible. The crucible. <laughs> I like uh, it. Anyway, I hope that that yeah. provided some sucker. <laughs> that, that, that just did more for me than any that, that, you know, that, that's... I just, I just had to show that off to There's the world. There's a trend starting here, and Eric's the only one. I am the only well, one. Uh, not on... So, I mean, so I'm wearing leggings too, that's the trend. On what kind of leggings I should be wearing? Yeah, it's like... Any leggings. How cool are, are your leggings? Yeah. They're great. My leggings, let's, let's go down the list. They're festive. <laughs> They're festive? They're seasonal. They're seasonal? Right? They're on my legs. On your like, and that's there's the, that's a, the there's a fandom in there too. There is you're a getting it's oh. it's better than just Christmas. It's like your favorite part of Christmas, this which is, is the, the Star Wars. This is the ultra combo <laughs> decoration part of Christmas of leg coating. Yes. Listen, we we have fucked up the ritual. We're gonna go back to the very beginning. <laughs> no, they're, they're, Bits no. for britches. <laughs> oh, Wait, <geez>. what was it? <laughs> <clears throat> now it's like this. Uh, I am your friend Jennifer K. Horkims. I am joined, Steampunk Jesus, we love the show as well. I am joined by Acquisitions Intoxicated Brewmaster, mm. Eric Benson, but more than that. Better than that. Yeah, exactly. We're going to elevate, easily, we're gonna elevate this shit. That. Next level, this is special guest. It's like imagine that the show is a delicious <laughs> cake, and then imagine that the cake has been frosted to perfection. Uh, that's the service that Danny Hartel uh, provides. Uh, not just to this stream, you might recognize her from Craft Hags. Craft Hags. But um, you, she is a, a constant uh, enthusiast in the channel. Oh yeah. Um, spending quality time. But if you saw, let's say, Chris Perkins' amazing uh, Sarah uh, get up at PAX West for the Akink game, that's Danny. That's me. What else have you? What other magical things? The C team. The C team. If you is saw the, the C latest. team, yeah. yeah. If you saw the C team at Unplugged, uh, a couple years ago, I did a Giants helmet and oh, a couple that's of right. Giant I hatchets. That. Yeah, it was so cool for the D and D experience. I remember we up on the, the floor, the <coughs> second years floor. Ago. Oh, that's West. true for the Storm Giants yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was so that cool. Was me. That was my first job for them. It was for like real. Yeah, three times the size of this table. <laughs> they were like, we were expecting you to bring something like this big, and we had to like rent a truck. Yeah. To exactly. get there, it was. It was like a fort. You could go big. inside. You this. could go inside it. it now, was fun. did you or did you not spend much of Unplugged uh, <laughs> in a kind of greasy terror? Yeah. Uh, assembling the costumes. Oh, I think you made they, my husband I laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is there is laughter from the husband in the wings. <laughs> the husband he, is like. Yeah, well, the he, greasy terror is just so perfect. He doubled over with laughter very briefly. <laughs> um, but I mean, so, but look, I, at the, look at the results. Yeah, right? I just really, I really wanted them to be a thing and I did not have enough time to make them that thing, but I tried my damnedest. Yeah, but I mean, the, the acquisitions... I'm, I'm yeah. happy it was, it turned out oh, okay. Oh, they were incredible. You know, the, you. the acquisitions incorporated stuff that we've done, like I wear some, uh, I wear some... SCA stuff. A little mm -hmm. bit, every and now and then. Yeah, and then Viari has a you know cloak and then you yeah. know, a doublet, I think. and Something. Yeah, and a boot, <laughs> right? And then Mike comes in just off of the street, but now he's got a cape. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Like that, the, the C team makes the A team look not so good. Like Be garbage. Yeah, like filth. Like filth. Like filth. Dirty filth. As, as Chris Treb would say, <laughs> better show. Yeah. But, but on top of that, like... There's things that I did not understand about the characters. Like, and I've been running them by that time for, what? I mean, almost 80 hours? Mm -hmm. There's things I did not get about the characters until you dress them up. And that's something that I talked to you about at yeah. Unplugged, right? Yeah, that's super interesting. Like, hearing what the costumes even do for the people playing the characters. And oh. Let alone the writers. Yeah, the person. Yeah. The yeah, exactly. Like, 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 for us... I think there's there's some there's just some crannies we had not arrived at yet. Right. Mm -hmm. I would say specifically with Kathris. So a big part of him, big part of his character is that he's always smiling at people. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I have them react what I, the way that I think is correct. Mm -hmm. But when you actually see Kathris Draub in that guy's smile at you, like it's not, 
It doesn't parse. <laughs> yeah. It's not okay. Yeah. It's not okay. <laughs> yeah, you're all. automatically into into that character that's talking back to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I hadn't considered. Obviously, Amy the Falcon <laughs> is Walnut Don Grass. It obviously. turns out. Yeah. Um, uh, or is Walnut Don Grass Amy the Falcon? Dun dun dun. Now, Who knows? obviously, Dinar. Mwah. Say magnifique. <laughs> always, always missing his toothbrush. I understand yeah. that we're working on that. We are working on that. Um, but I had never thought about because Rosie is so controlled in her demeanor mm -hmm. and her performance. Mm -hmm. It had never, I had never thought about the fact that I never thought about her hair down. Mm -hmm. And so, in order to get her hair where it needs to be for the character, it's it starts just as a gray wig. Right. And it was like such a. It was such a moment of intimacy with Rosie as a character yeah. that I just I learned a lot, and so I had that so that when they were in the Christmas adventure, mm -hmm. I had one of these silver cords, like just sort of like snap the bun, and then I had it come down. Like it gave me ideas for how to run the game live. And Good. I wanted to thank you. You're a cool person. Thanks. Now you're a cool person. Welcome. Too. Thank to you. acquisitions intoxicated. This is one of my favorite things on the internet. Oh, so, for reals? Oh, for reals. I'm like, so glad. I get mad when I'm late for it. Oh, no. And, like, sometimes I have to leave the house, rarely. But when I do leave the house and it has to, like, you have to give somebody a ride somewhere. Yeah. I'm like, man. Some asshole. I'm missing the chat. I'm not in the chat right now. <laughs> well, but listen, no, you came, you came on so a happy. celebratory day. Legwise. Legwise. Apparently, I didn't get the memo. For me. Yeah. Listen, there's still an opportunity. There's still an opportunity. <laughs> now, um, first thing we're going to do is put together uh, the beer recipe. The long rest. The long rest. The this long is going to be. This rest. is going to need a long rest. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Which I'm trying. Which long rest is? This is for the one we created with Ryan. That's for, for Donner. Is Dinar his, his? It's his. It's his Belgian triple, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's a Belgian dark strong ale. Yeah, um, and because he wanted to model this after um, Delirium Nocturnum, yeah, which is, a, which an, is a, e, an elixir. Uh, yeah. Boy, right. is it ever! Mm -hmm. um, but what he really wanted to do, and the chat definitely went along with him, was have it knock us in the face with ABV. Yeah, yeah. Now they did not go for thirteen. They didn't go for thirteen, right? The chat a very tasteful twelve yeah. percent yeah. alcohol. <laughs> Um, but suitable for wound cleaning. Yeah, <laughs> cauterize anything you need. Exactly. Um, but you know, usually these dark strong ales go from anywhere from eight to twelve percent. Right. Um, uh, when you look at Delirium Nocturnum, that actually started at nine percent originally, and then they moved it back down to oh eight, really eight and a half. It was too brutal. <laughs> Who knows? But right. uh, so w we we're kind of top in the charts with this one, and I'm excited about it. Yeah. Um, and what we did was we created this um, with the standard Pilsner malt. This is what a lot of Belgian uh, of these Belgians are made out of. Mm -hmm. right. um, Belgian Pilsner. We have about seven pounds in there of Belgian pil Pilsner. Yeah. And then to top it off, we put in some Carapils, which is going to give us some uh, better head retention. Well, no, it's going to better head retention. It's going to give us more pills. That's going to the pills is going to be increased. Yeah, obviously. As a direct result. A, yeah, who knew? Could be some care in there as well. Yeah, I'm sorry. Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what it actually what it really does is there's that term called the Belgian lace that we get with Belgian beers, which is kind of like a wine when you swirl a wine glass, you see the legs of the wine running down the side. Mm -hmm. Same thing happens with these Belgian beers, and we call it Belgian lace, and that comes from the carapils, the dextrose, the sugars you put in. And the hot, that, usually the alcohol content as well. Yeah. So we have those are our two really our two main um, grains. And that's all we really need for that grains. Grains. But what's going to darken this up significantly is we're for the first time we're using some dark candied sugar. Yes, that's and, brand new. Yeah, and we have for us on this stream. For, on this stream. Yeah, we we haven't had a we haven't had a beer where we we threw that in yet, and that's what really significantly darkens this beer up. To give us that rich, creamy, or uh, you know, dark character that Ryan Cremmy. wanted to, wanted to see in the beer. Exactly. Um, combine that. All. Combine that with a little dextrose, which is some sugar. It's going to give us a little um, sweet flavor. You inside. might you might recall you might remember that from Dextrose Laboratory. Yeah, happened. <laughs> Great show. Great show. Wash as much as you can. <laughs> all right. So. Let's um, 
I okay, got the snort. When, yeah. when is that happening, though? <laughs> the Dextrose real Dextrose Labor- Laboratory. <laughs> I think we can make it. Like, is that a beer you? What is you, that? You no, what is for? that show? Uh, the the what Dextrose cartoon? Laboratory. Dextrose, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I mean like the what, Dextrose oh, what, Laboratory. What what, the... what what would that even look like? Uh, my suspicion is that it would be the sugars on the run from active yeast. <laughs> In the suspension of the beer, it's it's a Extreme it's a high pain. impact program. Yeah. So uh, tell me, tell me, guide me, brewmaster. So here we go. As I always say, um, guys, when you go to pick up your grains, I always say shop local um, if you can. If you can't, go. To, there's a lot of online stores. Uh, we go to um, microbrew the microbrew home store in Kenmore. Kenmore. Yep. They're Freaking awesome! That their setup is amazing. Well, you're and like buddies with this guy now, right? Because yeah. you go in every week, I An- guess. Anthony, <laughs> Anthony's in the chat, I think, today. Oh, that's kick they're, ass! They're streaming Hi, the Anthony. show at the store. Oh. Hi, store. Like, um, that's awesome. I can't tell you how awesome this store is. It's so clean, well, yeah. it's so professional. They got everything you need. So I fresh, go. so clean, clean. All it's right, amazing. Yeah, but exactly. So if you if you guys if you're in Seattle and you go there, tell them we sent you. They will. Help you out to no extent. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You need it. You need help. But this is going to be seven pounds. God, of yeah. Pilsner. This is a fucking oh. sack, man. Yeah, Danny, you can get a whiff of this too. Oh, wait, wait, oh I smelled it. It was right in front of me. Okay, good. <laughs> it yeah, was yeah. There. Here, here, here. You want full, was... full access. No half measures. Just go wild on these grains. Just right, like a horse might. Exactly. Interact with the grains at whatever level you feel comfortable with. It smells like hamsters. Yeah, exactly. But like a good hamster. Yeah, a good yeah, hamster. Like the, the most succulent you know, hamster. The best hamster. Well, yeah, exactly. We're talking Quality about hamsters. Well, no, we're talking about, we're talking about a hamster that's been raised. <laughs> yeah, it, um, well, ethically. I think uh, <laughs> in the Kobe fashion, where free it's massaged, range, it gets free, a massaged every, free range hamsters. every three hours. No, that's cage, not the type of hamster. Free hamster. Uh, yeah, cage free. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> anyway, oh, that's incredible. All right, anyway, not selling this. I think but it's, a, but it's a heat, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at how look at how much grain is going to go in. And this is what we're using to really. Bump up the ABV in here. Right. Well, yeah, you know, it's just like it, it was just like our it was just like our widow's wake uh, rebrew. Holy shit on the widow's wake! Like that is a beast yeah. of a of a beer. You know what's funny? It's like IPAs are probably our favorite style. We've only done and one. And we we we, we have never we've never gotten around to it. Yeah. Right. I'm, exci- I'm excited for Widow's Wake to, to come to fruition. Indeed, indeed. Now, what's next? Now, we get the, we get to get into these hops. We, oh, you're going to love this. Really? We, oh, yeah. yes. We went for noble hops in this brew, and two of them. Yep. One is uh, Tetneg, which is a German hop. The classic. classic so, the, yep. so, the, so the noble hops are Tetneg, Saz, Spalt, and Hallertow. Mm-hmm. Um, this is going to give us um, an earthy, Herbal element with a lit that that spice that we remember from well yeah 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 so uh, velvet rope so do you remember back in the day when we did the Jim Dark Magic one we had velvet cape mm-hmm. which is the base and then we did another one called velvet rope right uh, with another hop mm-hmm. so one of them one of them had a traditional mm-hmm. yeast uh, and that was that was the that rope, was but, rope yeah exactly yeah. that was rope but for some reason with these hops so I want to open them up and so you can smell it. Try to find yes. this in there, right? Oh yeah. But the the thing about it was that it actually tasted like when they say earthy and spicy, like you never know how much poetry is involved, right? Right. And yeah. How much actual like practical information is there? Yeah. It tasted like like a cinnamon or nutmeg yeah. type experience, except it wasn't oily and cloying the way it would actually be mm. inside. Like if you overspice a cider or right. something like that, yeah. It didn't cling at all. Wow. It was actually it was cinnamon, but Actually, like fresh and refreshing. Yeah, it was, it was bizarre. Delicious. Absolutely, delicious. it was bizarre. Yeah, that's yeah. a new smell. I don't know. No, no, right. exactly. Fresh cinnamon. Let alone a yeah. flavor. Yeah, right? yeah like, what? And we, and we had this out in the woods during an SCA camping event. And it just, did not last. Yeah, it, I'm here it, to tell you it, it right now. Uh, like an hour. I'm sure. And it was gone. Oh no, because these motherfuckers <clears throat> come by, and as I'm sure you know from an SCA type dealio, these motherfuckers are rolling around with cups. <laughs> they wear cups. Like as a as a decoration. As you should. Yeah, exactly. It's a frog. For convenience. Right? Yeah. Oh, the frog. Yeah. It is, is the clip. Oh, here. So anyway, so this is the spicy, and earthy, earthy one. Give that a try. Now this is what's going to... So super low bittering. Yeah, but this is actually going to be our bittering hop. Yeah. Um, this is going to go in at 60, at the 60 minute boil it's mark. Like fresh dirt. Yeah. Right? But, like, but, but tangy. What's fresh dirt? I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> just, do we dug it up out of the backyard? No. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's those nugs. That dank nug. You yeah. know what I mean? That good nug. 
Wow. Get it. I like yeah. it. Different, right? I like it. Exactly. So mm -hmm. how much? So we're using a full ounce because one, this is a higher ABV beer, so we need to offset a lot of that. Yeah, exactly. But the malt. Exactly. So, the, but even though because this is our primary bittering hop, mm -hmm. it's not that bitter. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> No. Right. It doesn't have an alpha that's up in the 12. No, 10, no, no. Because because we've been working with some crazy shit. Yep. Like those Eldorados. Oh god. Mm -hmm. well, don't get me started on Eldorado. I could talk. I love that no, hop. No, no. Right, right now that Eldorado. It's like to the extent that you can fetishize a hop. <laughs> that's that's where we're at. Hop like fetishing. That's the, the Eldorado. New, that's the new thing on you know. On, so get on it. We're just gonna start yeah, it. Twitch. You need to you need to make a new channel. Yeah. That fetish. allows that allows us to love hops in the way that they deserve. <laughs> the way that um yeah. I'm done with that. That's 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 what that's your ending point. Yeah, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> All right. So there is the tet. Throw one of these puppies in here. Well, these, the flock. The flock in the, the second chamber. The clarifier. Is this is what actually for this beer we really don't need it too much because it's a dark beer anyways. But mm -hmm. when, when you see a um, like an IPA that's crystal clear. Yeah. That's only due to filtering and putting something like whirl flock in. Clarifying Which agent. is a, oh. a mixture of Irish moss and kerrigan. Gotcha. Um, and that's, that's, it just, what, what it does is it takes the proteins and coagulates them and makes them drop out of the suspension. And so if you watch wow. it in a carboy, mm -hmm. in a car, I don't know. Carboy? If you watch you it in a French car, why would, why were you going there? I mean, is this is this how, we don't no, need to is this how you speak? Of it? <laughs> no, no, it'd be like, it, I no. do not uh, think that's uh, how you go with the, with the hops. No, it'd be like uh, Le Garçon. No, we see. Uh, de voiture, something uh, like that. Anyway, deep listen, night. we're done with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no more. putting a stop to this now. So, where do these? Where do the? Where does the check sauce? Now, come? the check, the 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 sas is going to be for aroma. Just so it's oh. on the nose. So is that cage three? This is going to be in cage three because we're only going to add it in at the five minute mark of the boil. This, oh, is, this is the flame out. Yeah, uh, flame out would be at at, the, at zero. Oh, cool. So there's, there's an even there's, deeper yeah, there's the, knowledge. Yeah, we, we we could go once we get once we start hitting some more uh, IPAs, we'll talk about flame outs, whirlpooling, and all yeah. these other whirlpooling. That's something else I want to see on Twitch. Yeah. Now, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving it alone. So <laughs> that's, that's, uh, <laughs> oh wow, IRL, right? Yeah, yeah. This is crazy pants. Get a load of this. Yes, this please. Is, this is going to be a lot more herbal in nature. But it. but Saz is traditionally used in pilsners yes. and with pilsner malts. But again, light, not crazy pants in terms right. of the thing. So are we maintaining our hamster vibe? Are we moving sort of into an alfalfa? This is palette? like a, a pine hamster. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go with pine hamster. Yeah. Pine hamster. Oh, so good. Right? I now, how much of this? The whole thing. Oh, another we're one. Do, we're doing a full ounce. Full ounce of each? Yep. Now, wow. usually, usually we're doing lower ABV beers with different malt builds, but this is such a strong build, we need more hops to counter, uh, counter that. I love it so much. Now, so uh, let me see if I understand it correctly. I mean, I know, I know when I would add these things based on a recipe, uh -huh. but for the enthusiast, following along at home, if we're talking about adding something right at the end, that five minute point, mm -hmm. what we're really talking about is adding it at a part of the process where it's not being completely boiled away. Because no. these are fragile compounds, right? right? So because it's coming in at the end, its essential nature can be more retained, which is why you would put in an aroma hop or a flavoring hop. Right. Or and then even beyond the boil, the hot side mm -hmm. of brewing, you can also come right into the fermenter and put a pro and put dry stuff in there. Absolutely, you know, it, it, and we can look side by side at these two hops because they're very similar in their alpha. They are four point five percent for the tet, yeah, yeah, and 3. yeah, three point five percent for the tet or for the sas. Now this is, and we both we put an ounce in of each. Now here's the difference right. of what timing does for bitterness. Tell me more. By putting the the tet in at sixty minutes, we get twenty IBUs. Into this beer. Oh, I, had, I hadn't thought about the calculation. Now it's all based on the alphas, right? right. Now yeah. at five minutes, with close to being the same uh, alphas, you're only getting three IBUs. Oh, geez. That's the that's the difference. That's where why it's not bittering. It's doing all the flavoring and the aromas for you at the end of the boil. Right, right, right. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right, oh. bring the streak back. Yeah, Come so, on. So Come how on. did your um. <laughs> Yeah! The streak is- You were here. Tell them you were here. He did it. It, it was good. Now. <laughs> so, That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> it's true. Yay. 
recipes are coming in. They're being digested by the device. Probably a horse liquid assets, long rest. Get that long rest. Preparing for brew. All right. So we got some stuff to try, but this was sent in by our friend Andrew, Ralph oh. Lama, yeah. or C Cigar Jesus. Cigar underscore other, Jesus. Other Cigar Jesus. Jesus. That was that. Okay. Exactly. So we have some, uh, this is an individual, an enthusiast of the program uh, who has sent in, along with a very tasteful letter, um, has sent in uh, these three beers, which are terrifying. Mm -hmm. I mean, I will tell you now that I brought one home last night, just, it was like the pecan pie porter or something like mm -hmm. that. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna try this thing. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna drink this beer. I drink beer constantly. I should be able to handle it. No. He's drunk <laughs> tweeting. Drunk tweeting, people. What? No, I was drunk tweeting Kate Welch. <laughs> I saw this. Yeah. I and, and so <laughs> this is, so Andrew slash Ralph the Llama slash Cigar Jesus. Um, is there anything in here? Yeah. Yeah. Watch out. There's it a warning. Says, I did watch not out for the pecan porter. You're I did not. Get screwed. <laughs> I did nice. not see this letter. You didn't read the literature that came with the, the literature. Beverage. But literature. I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm saying that I can't. Like I should have because I was not prepared. I thought that I was drinking a normal beer and not some satanic brew. Um, that's so why the rule. That's why the, the rule should be at the me. back of the book. No, it kicked the shit out of me. And then yeah. I was like, and I brought home one of these. Mm -hmm. Right? This was the other one. And I was like, you know what? This is a small... So does this look like a small bottle? Yes. Yeah. Like the sort of bottle one might expect a hot sauce to be in. <laughs> one does not imagine that they are in fact holding a 13% beer. Fucking... There you go. They call it a stout, but this is a, this is a chemical weapon. <laughs> I'm like scared when you like tap it on the oh, table. Like no, it's exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> nitro. It's gonna get explode and we're all gonna be wasted. <laughs> no, thank you so much, Elliot. No, it's bad. And so I, I'm gonna open these and we're gonna try them. Yeah, yeah. while you're doing that, I want to show you what our friend Andrew sent me, and I almost cried. Oh no! Here, here. So this is something that I don't know anything about. Emotions. Okay. So I love cigars. Now I don't endorse everybody needs to start smoking, yeah. but I love. I am a cigar aficionado in, yeah. in, the, in a sense. Okay. Andrew uh, found out that my favorite cigars were. Would you blow it Fatal up? Fatal error. No, I don't know. I'll, I'll mess with this. You do your thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> so Andrew found out that my favorite brand is Arturo Fuente, and he and my favorite cigar is a Hemingway, an Arturo Fuente Hemingway. I see one. Yeah. But so Ooh. he sent me all these amazing um, cigars, but what he also did. Was I don't know how it happened. Yeah. I almost cried. Yeah. He in, he got my name put on the leaf. Is that a thing? I've never seen that. I before. guess it's a thing. And but I these could... all belong to Eric J. Benson and no one else. Yeah. But, apparently, say, if someone else tries to use them, but read that they're one. in huge trouble. Or steal them. Eric J. Benson, Brewmaster Acquisitions Intoxicated. Now you may not ah. know, Precious Channel. You may not know. Oh, I need to sniff it. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, but I got Eric to Benson it. is actually mm. a softy. Like a like a pecan, there is an external shell, but then within, just a baby. soft, tender just, meat. Just a baby. Um, and so <laughs> I can't even begin to imagine the sensations within. That's pretty fucked up, dude. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> like I, it's and I, sick. I read the letter and I'm like, <laughs> I got a little choked up. Yeah. It, it, that's so, the good stuff. I don't know. So I tried. I, I tried a cigar. I think fifteen years ago, and I did not understand it in any way. Well, we'll bring it back to the cigar club, and we'll we'll show you because there's a lot of flavor that goes on in a cigar. That there's <laughs> literally three stages of flavors. <laughs> no, I mean, sure. there must be yeah. like there must be a reason. That yeah, yeah. People, people do smoke it. Smoke them. Like I could not find it. Yeah. But I suspect that there is. <laughs> but a real now that thing. you're now that you're into coffee brewing, thanks, biker. You would, because they they, think? they they pair. Synonymously with, with coffee. What? Yeah. Absolutely. No, that's goofed. I, I, I guess I think I think that I think that we after brewing multiple times <laughs> a week yeah. for months and months, I think we might have found an issue. <laughs> um, but it's it's fine. We have we still have plenty of, of tasks oh, to yeah. undertake. I'll try to put it up again so that I can rub the grains. Um, as they deserve. Uh, is the um, the step filter thingy? The, remember that little pin on the inside? Oh, is that's, that bent back? Oh, that's right. Let me see. 
Live troubleshooting. Oh, yeah. You, you know, here's the thing. When you brew beer, there's always something that's good you're going to have to work on and fix during the process. Yeah. It never goes according to plan. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, and that's true even with um, even with your like home systems, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's see. So, so you're seeing <laughs> you're, you're seeing the real stuff, Danny. Have you tried turning the beer off and on again? Well, no. As my <laughs> listen, I already turned <laughs> it off that. and on. Someone that's, said that. That's Chris Seaslick. <laughs> listen, Seaslick. if I don't listen, <laughs> if I want your opinion. <clears throat> the beer tech support. Yeah, exactly. Over here. Unbelievable. Yeah, this bullshit. Here, listen. You love the guy's game, but then he busts your chops. <laughs> no, dude, he's, he's a chop buster remotely. All right, now, there's a lot of things that are different, though, if you think about it, right? First of all, Ryan's beer is he's massive. freaking Ryan. That's why. Is massive. And then There's also, Josh, you got this crazy new cart. <laughs> I don't know what kind of rays it's emitting. Yeah, do you the think, do, the, do you think the Pico is intimidated by the glorious stature of that cart? I think so. It's that stage fright. No, you know, it is, it's, it's imposter syndrome, <laughs> right? It's like, it's like, no, I don't, I don't deserve this cart. <laughs> I don't rank this kind of cart. Oh no, oh, God, now I have to have these backseat fumblings. This, this, is, kind of... this is the real stuff though. This is, is what it? we come here for. Yes, yeah. is it? Yes. All right, here. So why don't you open one of these and start drinking heavily? I don't even know where to, which, where to start with It'll this. help. Okay, so we got a scotch ale. This'll help. Yeah. We have a Buffalo black sunset, coffee. Black coffee and hops. And this is... And then this is the Prairie Bomb. We don't want much of this because it's a fucking nuclear weapon. Well, let me let's, see this. Let's start out with let the, the lightest of all the scotch ale first. Vanilla beans yeah. and chili peppers. If the scotch ale... Yeah, I know. I'm but, excited. No, it's very good, but it turns out that it is a toxin. So, oh, watch out. Good. <laughs> good. All right, now, uh, Danny. Yes. We should figure out. We should figure out what we want to put together. So, as as we are putting these fluids. Why within, do you give me so much? Oh, that's not a lot. It's a small. Okay, no, no, that's not the bad one. Yeah, that's, this is this is. Okay, it's okay. Good. <laughs> um, we should be thinking about it. So we did something really cool for Clues, which was the Tinker's Lantern. Mm -hmm. Where do we want to go for the, the Danny Hartel signature the brew? The Danny brew. Because I'm saying like, okay. you, you, you know, you've watched the show. Yeah. Now can be a part of it. Oh you know my I mean? God. Well, see, I had ideas for every individual <laughs> character. I got ideas for days. I got well, ideas, it's listen, too many. Well, you know what though? If, if that's how you want to do it, like if you want to just like call an audible and say, hey, that's a sports term. Um, this is delicious. Yeah, right. So, but if you want, if you want to like pick a character and put well, out I mean, some like, ideas, we can I actually have, just move ahead on that too. I have my own D and D character that I play, oh. and it's my favorite. She's my favorite person in the world, and exactly. her name is Scrummy. Yeah. And she is a we can hook this up. servant Wait. of Zugtmoy. Let, let's. Oh, the the mushroom. The mushrooms. Queen. You say the fucking mushroom. And I would just. I mean, like there there is some flavors within cider, especially that I'm a huge fan of, and I think it's called barnyard mm -hmm. or yeah farmhouse. Farmhouse. There's you know, it's it's the funky aftertaste. Barnyard. Like, you know, like farmhouse. Cam, like a good camembert sticks in your throat kind of flavor, like really fermented. You know, deep, pungent flavorings, Danny, and I would love to see how much of that we can get in. Danny, I'm going to ask you a question, and the answer is very important. Okay. Do you like sours? I don't know. I don't. I haven't had enough to you know. I think. So. <laughs> you don't like them. I no. I think. I think I do. I just. I'm not positive because I haven't had en enough and known what they were yeah. to make a decision. Yeah. So, but I think I do. I think. You're really, you're trying to get Babe, on the sour train. Do I like I really sours? The, you know. <laughs> I like sours. He knows what I like. Yeah, I yeah. suspected as much. If I had known that ahead of time, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> uh, no, no, ah. no. I'm I'm ah. down. What? No, I'm just saying. I'm down. Um, let's let's go this route. We have yet to make a cider. We can show the people at home how to get. Siderian, but but there's I mean so very briefly describe for the channel the process of making a cider. This is not going to take long. Take your take your juice, pour it in the carboy, pour in the yeast. Wait, 
and we're cool. done. So we, f we figure out how you want it to taste. Yeah. We figure out what kind of apples to use if we want to. Um, I, I, let, 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 hey, no, you know what? Chris, we're gonna we're gonna do your 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 test. How about you pull, pull the back cord out, put it back in? Okay, we'll turn it back on. Just for kicks. Just, just for as much. I'm gonna I turn the God. beer off. If this freaking works, turn the beer off and turn it on. Again. I mean, I've turned it off, but maybe that's not enough. If it works, gotta unplug it. See, this is the thing, Chris. <laughs> if it works, uh, I'm not actually gonna be happy. I'm gonna be mad at you. <laughs> I'm angry at your knowledge. Exactly. <clears throat> but no, a scrummy cider would be. The, the bee's knees. The bee's knees. Also, I think a uh, traditional term within the cider realms is scrumpy. Like scrumpy oh, is definitely. a term. Yeah, there's a, like, have you ever had the JK scrumpy? Yes. God damn. Um, yeah. I used to work at a cidery. Um, and I was Cidery ever... sounds like an adjective. It's very cidery. Right? Cideries are very cidery. Ciderian. <laughs> Ciderian sounds too fancy. Yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> But yeah, like I, I always had fun. Um, I was one of the prep cook people who nice. uh, helped in the kitchen at the cidery, so I was never doing any of the decision making or brewing or any of that. So I know nothing about how it's made, but I was the one prepping the stuff we would put in, like for our pineapple or <coughs> our um, raspberry haban oh, habanero cool. cider. Oh, I was prepping good. the food that went in the cider as an additive later, so... Um, that really piqued my interest, and that's why I started watching your show, is because I was like, oh, oh. I kind of know a little bit about what this is like. But, but the, the, the cider, I'm trying to think, like... Magner's is a really oh, good... Oh, Magner's is the best. Is a, is a good... Um, <laughs> dry? Um, kind of in the middle on dry to sweet, but like the, the barnyard flavor that I'm really talking about is... It's, it's, it's in Magner's for sure. Tell me more about... Tell me this more is, about the barn. This is awful. Tell me but more about the is, barn aspect. This aspects. is how it was explained to me. Is the this flavor I really like? It it is like it's a, a mouse. It's like a piss in the hay sort of smell flavor, but it's like garden hose. That's a flavor, and it's in things that we that, enjoy. That and is you would never garden eat hose, that. Fresh Obviously, cut garden hose. you would never ingest a peed hose. in hay. Either, but it happens to taste delicious in some way. I don't know. I don't understand it, but it's good. Uh, everybody go try Magners if you want to know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But it's it's something I think that people don't put in ciders enough anymore because it's it's a really deep flavor and it's pungent and it, it it's not just <clears throat> like dry to sweet is one thing, it's, but like it's earthy. this is an extra thing you can get in there especially in dry ciders that's when you like when you have no sweetness and that pungent weird flavor yeah. at the end it's a different experience than ciders you're used to in a but in a good in a great in way what you would describe as a positive way yes <laughs> all right by the way somebody asked me if i could if they could use pine hamster for their their own brew which you can i, I don't like think it. anybody no, no. else is going to use that it has notes it has to be, it can't be just pine hamster, it has to be, has notes, like it, it has, has to be reminiscent of, of pine, pine hamster. hamster. <laughs> right? That'll be just the best level of confusing for, <laughs> for people wishing to drink it. Yeah, so that is a massive, the, yeah, it, what do you think of that? it's called real heavy. It's real heavy. And I know why. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> it's not a wee heavy. It's real heavy. No, it's unfiltered, me. unpasteurized mm -hmm. Scotch ale, rich and malt driven. Yeah, that's very. Yeah, apt. <laughs> oh, I like it. Rich, like it malt driven, alcoholy. Alcoholy. If this works, <laughs> Chris. No. <laughs> this, oh, had, man. this had better not work. Ah! No, it's right then. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's turning the, the beer arm. off did not work. Because <laughs> if the fluid arm isn't never isn't coming around to the front. Oh, weird. I, I think that it's it's like we'll mess with it. No. Yeah. So so think about this. We're talking about a device that you use constantly, and one of its primary functions is to make sticky syrup. Mm. So yeah, there's you know there's reasons why it might be a, a sophisticated operation inside the guts of the device. Um, but we'll we'll hit it back. We'll give you an update on the brew. Um, so you so inside Beersmith, do you also have the capability to do? We can play around with um, cider recipes. So let's talk about mice. 
How many <laughs> mice do we want to have? How many filthy ass mice? Or how many mice are peeing in this hay? <laughs> A lot of yeah, no, 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 that's what we need. That's, that's what, we, what need. we need. No, but that's like the measurement. Like you don't yeah. measure like the pee on the hay. It's like it's like five <clears throat> mice worth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In a week. No, maybe. exactly. Yeah. But it has to be like a period of time, and then like a number of mice, like horsepower. Yeah. But it's all mouse based. Five mouse power. That's per right. Week. <laughs> so, what do we want to talk about as flavors besides mice? That represents this character. Let's See, talk about the character. She's, Here, she's so, so, so give us everything. Oh, so you, she so you get is... along with uh, Holly very well. Oh, <laughs> Scrummy and Strix actually send each other mail. Yeah. And you can see this on Twitter. It's happened. As each other? Yeah, I write letters to uh, uh, Strix as Scrummy. Like, she'll, I'll have a paint that she wants to borrow or something, and I'll just send it to her and write, like, Scrummy <clears> is sending her this paint. So Scrummy sends Strix things yeah. all the time. It's, you know, it's next week. We are super, super excited. Next week on this show, mm -hmm. we are going to get into, we're going to cork, uh, or uncork, I guess. Tap? Tap. We're going to drink. drink. <laughs> we're going to put it in our faces. We are going to put it here <laughs> Good. and then tip it. Nice. It's, it's uh, Holly's Trashed Witch. Finally! I remember that one. Well, well no, because no, we did it, but it's like with something like that that is as big as she wanted it to be mm -hmm. and has as much going on as it does, like, it has to sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Um, and so Take it's time. just now, I mean, that was months ago. Yeah. yeah. It's just now at the point where you feel comfortable with it. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to, I, if, if we have to make the call and say it's not ready next week, it's not ready because it's, it, we've waited this long. Right. That. You got to do it right. Yeah. We're not going to, we're not going to, we're not going to tap this thing if it's not. So will you, will you, will you thief some out yeah, and so what sample we, it? So what we do is we use what's called a thief or a wine thief. It's basically a, a long plastic. Rod, rod, and you literally just put it put it in, and you shake it a couple times, and it slowly siphons up some of the alcohol. Yeah, I know. All right. <laughs> no, yeah. we, we get, you're no, fine. you're gross. We yeah, gotta... keep doing gross stuff. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so, yeah, it's weird. So, but thanks. So, but but that's but that's the basic idea, right? But mm -hmm. right when, 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 do, when do you think? Please not. So when do you, no? So <laughs> you're a bad person. So when when do you think uh, Doomgate Dark Wine is going to be ready? Doomgate's a longer story. That's a barley wine. That, it, so it's even even a couple yep. months is not good enough. No, you want to do. I I personally, my preference would be five to six months. Really? <laughs> blink, blink. Ding, 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 ding. ding I want to blink, blink because <laughs> I, that's like a that that's a pretty significant portion of my beer fantasy excursion mm -hmm. mentally. Yeah. When I travel into that realm, I'm accompanied by the Doomgate Dark Wine. You're right. saying even more months. Yeah. And, right. and we've never we've <clears throat> never had a beer where we've aged it that long either. So you're gonna get to see, you know, what the effects of aging yeah, can have it, on well, something. It, it, in either of these cases, yeah. right? No, 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 it's super cool. Yeah. Here, so, mm -hmm. so you're so you're digging around here. Yeah. So let's talk about. Okay. So do we want to make this an apple cider, a pear cider? Mm. Perries are interesting. Mm -hmm. here, here, I here. really like perries, but I feel like that's a little snooty for scrummy. Well, here, here. So let's. <laughs> these these need to be like great. garbage apples. Well, here, here, here. So let's 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 jump back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about this character. This filthy. She is creature. a gnome warlock. Oh, so this oh, is I love it. so already. She's already. She is chaotic neutral. Oh, what pact? Uh, I don't remember. It's been a minute since oh, no, I've no, played no. her. What's, what's her but deal? What's the source she, of her? She, uh, yeah. her patron is Zugtmoy, which is the oh. queen of fungi. <clears throat> oh, definitely. Um, oh, man. so the any sort of mushroomy flavors oh, we can get in here. <clears throat> she isn't above covering herself in shit to get by some goblins, yeah. Yeah. which has happened. And you know, but I think that that I think that that <laughs> dank barnyard thing that you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like that's all of a piece, you know, because if we it, actually trying to introduce legitimate mushroom flavors into a cider, I feel like it's a dangerous proposition. It is. It, but if we can evoke them. Yes, I want. I, I mean, obviously, if you went, I mean, you could put mushroom in never with go a full savory mm -hmm. flavor, but yeah. as a drinkable. Thing I don't know. I mean, you might. There's obviously like mushroom teas mm -hmm. and things like that that well, you. Who can, hasn't had them? Right, but <laughs> uh, like in college. Maybe I mean I. I honestly haven't even had a mushroom tea, but I know people drink it. Um, they do. And that would be interesting to see if those flavors are incorporatable. Totally. But obviously, right now we don't have any available. So now, now we more scrummy, more did. Tell us of scrummy's adventures. She. Uh, 
Uh, she chaotic neutral, obviously, uh, doesn't have any limits here. She's very grumpy, very, mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't like talking. She mostly hates people, but lots of the time she cooks these little goodies and incorporates her mushrooms. So, uh, she'll like, like, oh, I'm scrummy. Hello, new person. Here's a treat I've made <laughs> oh, for you. And then food. she'll never tell you if it's like a, oh, it's a boon goodie. Like you could, you could earn well, something a... good for this. Or mm -hmm. maybe it'll send you on a mushroom trip that's just really, really awful and bad. It's not, or it's not her deal. you could just get sick. And like, she's decided, she's judged you. Ahead of time. So yeah. fast. She, she judges people silently all the time. Right. And so she'll just hand a goodie to a new acquaintance and mm -hmm. they can decide when or if to eat it and that's kind of the fun i have with scrummy is that she she's just silently judging everyone constantly and just gives you opportunities to fuck up your own life or if she likes you maybe that thing will like help you later but you'll never you'll probably never know do you have do you have you some do you have some kick-ass scrummy costuming I've been working here and there on on costume for her, but it's obviously side project stuff that doesn't. Well, well no, get I did. Progress. I did interrupt your life pretty substantially. Yeah, you did. With the C team. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then I got jealous of the C team costumes. I know. And then we started wanting to get something like that for the A games. What are we gonna do about that? I know exactly what. We'll, oh. we'll have you do costumes for those. So oh. it's easy. It's easy. But how do you feel? Um, it sounds like ciders are in your wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> have you ever had a hopped cider? Yes. What I do have. you think? That that would be a good, like twingy right? taste to put in well, a cider because, because ciders I, are usually very sugary. Yeah. You know, Espe sweet especially across the, types, the board. Especially the types that we're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, just because I'm, when I'm thinking about the character, like much as much the same as when we were talking about the stuff for Holly's Trash Twitch, mm -hmm. the idea that just. They're just buried in places. Yeah. Like she has made it and then she has put it down. She's like, I'll come back to that at some point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But the actual recipe. Yeah, uh, if we can get like forest, foresty flavors in here, moss, you know, like dank undergrowth mm -hmm. sorts of flavors well, see, mm. in with do, the do, barnyard. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like I feel like they're actually hops that can get us to that dank character. Yeah. Um Without having to expose it to something weird or well, what's right? what's neat? The way we can work this is we can utilize hops and other additions of like with Holly's beer we did lavender, mm -hmm. so we could take right. other little things you would be you would be picking off of the ground mm -hmm. or. You know, mm -hmm. lots yeah. of tea flavors would be interesting oh, yeah. too. Oh, oh, oh. I am a huge so, fan of tea and a an cider tea. Yeah. Sort so you of can thing. actually put tea bags in secondary fermentation. Ah, here we go. Dude. And like a peppermint tea <laughs> no. or like I a, love peppermint tea. <laughs> no, listen to this. Have you ever had pu'er? Oh what? yeah. What? No. It can't. Do you want to you describe? No, 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 go, no, go no, no, no. You please, please, please. <laughs> I, I, I won't I've only had it once. Okay, so. It's it's an aged tea. It's an aged fermented tea that ah! comes in a brick or a yes. circular brick, or right? You call it a brick. Yeah, a chunk. A chunk in it, and it has been aged, and you break it off, and it's so brittle that it just unravels in in the palm of your hand. What? Yeah. But and I'm this is like about a, a tea. A tea. Well, this, this tea. My understanding is that there was a period of time. It's a it's a, a Chinese traditional tea. Uh huh. My understanding is that there was a period of time where. Pu'er was actually fungible with currency. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right? So I'm here to tell you, imagine tea, but in this dank continuum we're talking about. Yeah. So we can get there with hops. Like a kombucha. Well, yeah. similar, 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 but yeah. there, there isn't, it's gonna be fermented, but not by a SCOBY, right? Right. Um, but think about this. That might be a winning to actually add as a as a dry addition. Mm -hmm. Add a add a fermented tea yeah. into the sweet cider. Yeah, I like that route better than I like the hops. Actually, that actually sounds. I mean, like hops. Hops are good, but like no, they're. No, it has to. It has to come across. They're a little sharp. Exactly. It has to come across like some kind of tincture, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I, I can see like a juice tea combination. Yeah. My suspicion is that that's not super uncommon. Right? I've never heard of it, but I'm not oh, going to pretend fantastic. I've heard of everything. I am going to try and pull up <laughs> Tazo an image of this. Tazo has a couple just sick bottled teas. Yeah? Yes. I like Tazo. They had one, they had one called uh, Brambleberry for a while. Hmm. It is, yeah, it's May Wee. Josh, you want to put up uh, my computer screen? That's what it looks like. Wow! 
That's how it comes. And then you crack it. And then put it in there, right? Yep. But this is, I mean, so these are fermented discs of wow. tea. And so when you introduce it to the water, like, I love it. Like I think that the taste That's is amazing. probably an acquired taste, mm -hmm. but I acquired it the first time. I, I'm probably going to acquire it immediately. You are going to love this. <laughs> I'm so excited. But if we hit, if we hit this cider, mm -hmm. the fermented cider, Good with, can drop that. with this dark, rich, uh, fermented tea, mm -hmm. I think we might be getting into a really, really cool spot. Yeah. I'm right. a, I'm trying That's to contain winner, myself right here. This is no, no, this is so this cool. is going to be kick ass. I can't this wait. Is, this is exactly the same. So remember when we were so after unplugged mm -hmm. when I, I found you guys at that Some like bar ancient bar. <laughs> I don't know where it was. It was killer though. Alyssa no, it was, just told me no, to meet her there. It was so close. <laughs> that place was very close to the poutine place mm -hmm. and also gyms. So it's like that part of that part of town I sort of know now, right? Yeah. But I was just like when we were talking about trying to put together other cool acting stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this doesn't have to be like, just like a conversation that we have. Like, I want to make sure you understand, like this conversation ends with us fucking really making this. Good. Yeah. And actually like drinking it. Yes. It's a real I thing. I can't wait. It's not just cool I internet times. I am excited. We're, so, gonna make a, we're gonna make a real fluid. Yeah. So, we're, so with the thought of, <clears throat> you wouldn't go with a pear because it's kind of too snooty. That's hoity-toity. Yeah. We'll take the apples in. The yeah. traditional apples. Some um, of my favorite like cider apples were the really tart ones mm. too. Like, I mean, I won't pretend I know which apple tastes like what, but like I was at the Any cidery. You have, I, mean. I had to press the apples <clears throat> myself. I don't know what they were called, but there were some little black ones that were tart mm -hmm. as fuck. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, they were ugly, which was very scrummy. Like just Filthy. if it's if it's like there, it needs to be a diamond in the rough sort of situation mm -hmm. across the board, mm -hmm. if it's going to be a scrummy drink, right? Like a bev. this looks gross, but we're going to eat it anyway because we Ooh. know better. Yeah, dude. You know, you know what the sick thing is? The color of mm. this after the after the poor edition. <laughs> it's going to be nasty. It's it's going to look like we're I drinking like a mushroom. It. Yes. It's gonna, it's going to sell. If like, it, it looks is, it is like a sewer water. Oh, situation. Absolutely. But I mean, but that's a, that's our hook, right? Like yeah. our favorite, like if we're doing our job at um, Akant right, mm -hmm. we're making, yeah. like we're bridging the gap between these characters and the stories and like actually being able to go to these places, yeah. right? I that's, like that, it. That, like when we put together um, uh, Red Larch Regular. Oh God, it was amazing. Like, so that's a place that we made up, mm -hmm. but I want to go to there. Yeah. yeah. Just to have and, the beer. And if I can't go to there, then we have to make their come here as much as we can, right? We'll drink the location. Exactly, if possible. Yeah. If possible. So let's talk about some different, I'm just gonna pull up some different... Um, poor options? Yeah, options that we can go through. Poor. This is... It's so scrummy. Gosh. Right? And we're, we're just gonna look through it. It sounds awful. It's perfect. <laughs> so we have one, a vintage 2009. No, see, because it's fermented, yeah. you understand that this is a, that this is a big deal. Wow. Right? So excited. Like it's serious B. Yeah. So this one, this could give us a pleasant earthy flavor that is mellow and smooth. Mm-hmm. That sounds kind of fun. How about this one? Pine, rosemary, spicy green olive oil. Listen, but look at that, look at how listen, that cake is $115. So Okay, yeah. We need to look at prices here. <laughs> if, <laughs> guys, no, no, no. Here's the thing. Well, I will buy the cake. It's oh my limited, goodness. Listen, it's limited yeah. edition. Oh man. Right. Super fancy. But listen. I like it. Uh, you think about it purely from an aesthetic perspective. Yeah. Okay. Right? Take a look at some of those flavors and then think about them combined with these dark sweet apples. I mm. think the pine needs to not, like is there a, oh, a way to so not, not pine? So, yeah, so not so resonance. Th when, like when I say dank forest, I think like swamp. Okay. So oh, no, the, same page. the pine... Same page. Kind of. It can't be fresh. It can't be fresh. Right. Yeah. Can't um, be. Dark mocha is another one. That's but but that's gonna be a little more sweet, right? Yeah, we gotta think about the apple and like chocolate apples aren't my jam. Right. Um, I don't know if flowery jam. aroma with a sappy mouth feel. That's more piney. Yeah. Mm. Carefully aged. What are we talking about here? Uh, Look at all this fucking info. I know. Whoa. The, 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 we're going deep. Literature. Into this. Yeah, wow. head over those tasty tasting notes. notes. Amber honey infusion. That's kind of neat. Ooh, I oh. am all about 
the little like orange blossom honey, honey flavor and bergamot. That's the key. That's yeah, huge. that's the key. Yeah. Oh man, I am all about Earl Grey too. So like oh, getting yeah, yeah, Earl yeah, Grey, bergamot type of. This is a winner. And Ooh. then we, and then in the future when we come at it, we can use like an Earl Grey or, or something like that. Something we can get straight off the shelf yeah. for another batch. Mm -hmm. But for batch one, let's go fucking hard. Yeah. Right? yeah. Let's kill cool. it. And see, this, this is the fun part about brewing, at, at least for me, is that we get to literally not just take regular ingredients, we can go off and find something like this and mix tea into it and use those well, flavors. Well, listen, and so you have to understand with us, like, This one, yeah. the citrus and ginger, Ooh, let's take a look at that. could yeah, be exactly. super interesting yeah, I was with say, the apple. So in addition to everything else they're talking about, remember that these are like fermented teas. Yeah. So there's other things that come with it being a pu'er. You're mm -hmm. right. That they're not discussing they're not specifically. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah, That's like important. look at this. Uh, ginger root, orange peel, lemongrass, lemon. Shit yeah. she found somewhere. Like, found it. That's yeah. the tasting nurse. Yeah. Yeah. Shit right? we found. Yeah. I like it. Found shit. Found shit. Found shit. No, that's, a, yeah. that's, that's super interesting because... Right? I mean, um, with I mean, because it's going to be fruity. Sticking with the fruit and like embracing that with all the Bolstering deep it. flavors mm -hmm. and then not making it too complex because like pine is like... I don't know what that's ah, going to do with no, an apple. If they're talking and like, about resinous, that's not what we want. Right. We don't. We don't want anything to cloy. Right. In this mix. I'm. Right? I'm liking the the zesty orange and then ginger, making it almost a little spicy. Yeah, that's interesting. With the right? pungent, could be a really good deal. Yeah. Deal. Done. Deal. Oh, that's like fascinating. It. So snatch Man. that. So that's loose. That's loose, not cake. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dude. Right. I can't but, believe this went here. No, I love it. So, yeah, things, right. So, but I was just gonna say, like, so when you start talking about teas and infusions, like, you're speaking our language because <laughs> we made we. So, do you remember? Um, gosh, what did we end up calling it? The, the the acquisitions incorporated house beer. The uh, liquid assets. Liquid assets. So, uh, <laughs> thanks, Egg. Oh, thanks, Ego. So, it's like this. The whole point of liquid assets as a beer, mm -hmm. it's our first mm -hmm. pills, first of all. Yep. Right. The entire point of that beer. Ryan Hartman, what in the house? He, he Yay, Danny! <laughs> he subscribed for like from like two hundred feet away. There. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. So it's like this: <laughs> the whole purpose of liquid assets, story-wise, mm -hmm. is that Akink rolls into your town. Mm -hmm. They have casks of this stuff, right? It's cheap. Yeah. Yep. Right. It's designed to be easily manufactured. Right. The whole point of it is to get something local and use that as an addition in there. Mm. So it's like, we get you. Yeah. yeah right? For yeah. the local flavor, here we come. We understand your tiny shithole. Right? Mm -hmm. It's all good. Same page. Yeah. Right? yeah. And Let's we can look. sell it right back to you. Yeah. Right? And so, but we really actually made that after going to a place that specialized oh, so in fresh amazing. herbs. Wow. And so the whole purpose, thanks Crash. Uh, so the whole purpose of that beer is not actually to be a pills. Yeah. It's designed to be... It's a delivery system for the flavors exactly. of the right. herbs. It's a yeah. substrate yeah. Mm -hmm. that is designed to be inflected yeah, with I, herbs. That was the cool, one of the most interesting experiences for me because you always hear chefs talking about how they go somewhere and they get inspired by something. Yeah. And, like, and I'm like, is that, is that bullshit yeah, or is that like, real? don't talk anymore. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, we, stop. but we went to this restaurant, but they take you on a tour <clears throat> of their herb garden before mm -hmm. to know what's going into your food. Right. And they're tossing us these herbs and they're like, chew on this, chew on this, chew on this. And then I think- Like at, literally throwing herbs at, at They literally chuck them at you. <laughs> but I remember, like, it was a simultaneous moment where I think Jerry and I looked at each other and, and the chocolate mint. we were we were both eating this piece of chocolate mint and we're like, okay, Pilsner, like I yeah. get it. And like then it was like a rush of, oh my god, this is what happens when a chef goes somewhere and gets inspired to do right. something. Right? Like, yeah. It's actually not BS. Mm -hmm. No, we we bought in here. Yeah. So, Danny. Yes, please. Acceptable. What so this is, is nine two. Yes, please. This, this, this is Buffalo Sunset. You said yes first, yeah. which communicates important information. Yes, um, thank you. What is uh, it? Buffalo Sunset. This is black coffee and hops. Ah! We're gonna go. I'll drink that. A ham on this one. But here, my husband's super jealous over there. Oh, you, want, you want some? Here. He wants some. We have a tasting room. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Here, here. I'll, I'll pour you Everybody, a glass. Everybody, this is my husband, Chris you a, Ron. Chris Ron, I'm gonna pour you a glass right now. Here you go. You're good. Super so you fan. Know? There's the camera if you want to see where your face is at. Uh, there's a new yeah, sword like, if you need one. That's well, my husband. He's Chris Ron. He does a lot of art for Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering. He right. oil paints. He's super talented. 
He's the best. Thanks. You want to like sit on the couch? Great husband. Yeah. You can leave if oh. you Pull want. Pull up a chair. Yeah. Pre- <laughs> We've got him. <laughs> Premium husband Premium experience. Husband Premium material. husband experience. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 just yeah, pose. Yeah, give us, yeah, give us. I love that. it. Look yeah, at yeah, him. Yeah, we have, we have, we have <laughs> there you go. Thank you. You're so pretty. Give the people what they want. <laughs> anyway. Hey, now, so so we have gotten to some hot shit here. Yeah. So we have figured out an interesting way to add tea and dankness. Yes. To that continuum. Love it. I think this is getting pretty special. Yeah. Now, we're gonna, is there anything other other flavors we want to add? The main is thing it? is, so you want a, you want something that is. So in terms of the base juice, so this is key. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you want something that is on the tangier side. Yeah. That's what it sounds like to me. Yes. Right? Yeah. I want that pungent, you know, like sugar. Holy crap. Sugar can be here or there, whatever. This, what the, the fuck? The co- sorry, the coffee in this is amazing. No, I reacted earlier. No, I was like, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's, it's like a wave. Yeah. Like it's finally coming over here. <laughs> I have never had... So you always have coffee notes, mm-hmm. especially if you use roasted malts. This is like coffee with some beer in it. That's like coffee. <laughs> this is coffee. This is what Trash Witch yeah. is going to turn out to be. This is a flavor uh, you're going to get. I think Trash Witch will be. I think that Trash Witch is going to have more going it on. Almost no, no, like, no, I'm saying coffee-wise. This is how the coffee is going to taste. It almost yeah, yeah, yeah. tastes like burnt. <clears throat> no, I like it's, it. It's, it's hardcore. That's we good. actually have, so in uh, Holly's, we actually have like custom roasted coffee yes. from my house Good. to put in there as the dry addition in addition to the lavender. Mm-hmm. May we? It's the dish. I don't no, know no. why, but I love that like burnt to a crisp well, flavor. Well, no, no. I like, yeah, like I like charred. how, yeah, I like how, <laughs> um, it's just real. Mm-hmm. It's like, this is what's up. Fuck you if you don't we like We burnt it. the coffee, yeah. big deal. Yeah, yeah. Drink it. F up. <laughs> so, so where are we at? Uh, in this process, I mean, really, you just you, I mean, add, you add a traditional yeast, we're done, right? Yeah, do do we want anything else? Right? I mean, we're just going to add a cider yeast to this, but yeah, yeah. Is, are there any other flavors apple? we yeah. really want to throw into? Here? I mean, you might be playing with fire. After I know. I'm going to after the poor, you might be playing with fire, trying to. Mess I say with it too much. that's going to be a complex enough flavor with the cider that that's yeah. like that's experimentation enough. I'd say. The only thing I would say. God damn, that's that's coffee for real. That is some um, stuff. The only thing that I would say is that it might be neat to use a zest in it. Oh yeah, we as can a, absolutely as a dry addition. Like so, what kind of zest? Well, I mean, there's orange. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have orange and lemon mm-hmm. notes in here, exactly. so that could I'm be saying, what that if could we amplify what it? if we yeah. back up the tea tastes with a fresh. Zest mm-hmm. that is added, and then obviously it's, it's removed. It would never, it would not, it would not live in there. You tell me what, what you is, think. What does what does lime do for you? Like, Everything. like is that a? Lime. It's very lime. Because I think it's going to be much sharper than the I orange. I think zest. with oh, the because I think with the pungentness, like it could be fun to have oh. one note oh, like way I up it. here. I get you it. know? Yeah, exactly. Because and because like, the lime because the base of this goes with the base of this. <laughs> Of this evil cider ziggurat, mm. right, is so broad Actually, from the puer and the apple. Uh, Red Hat Engineer um, mentioned lemon too. Yeah, lemon, oh, lemon, go. lemon's That's good. Too. I think yeah. lemon is superior in this case yeah. to lime. Yeah, I would, I would agree. Like, there's so many ways. Yeah. We, there's so many ways to skin that. That I think. That. Oh man, I think. And, it's a I think lemon probably like it's still a high sharp thing, but oh, it's not so like up it, here. It's much you know? broader than the lime, yeah. basically. Yeah, and so it'll be like. It won't be pointy at the top. Yeah. It'll be, you know, there'll be like a veranda. Sure. B- a sure. bell curve. Right. Above. Exactly. Yes. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Dude, that's a winner. Danny, thank you for coming on our show. Yeah. Yeah. What are we going to do next? I don't know. We've already conquered this liquid. What's next? Well, we, 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 more liquid? Bombs? Yeah. We, we have keep, a bomb to drink. Oh, no. See, we got to finish this coffee this, thing. No, dude, listen, we're already in huge trouble here. Oh, like, my this God. This is already bad news. I don't know what you're talking about. I got a cigar this morning. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. Hey, yeah. uh, so we're, we're rock solid here. Wow, I can't believe, like, I'm, ex- I'm actually really excited to try infusing tea and not, and specifically this type of tea. Yeah. Like, that is fascinating to me. How many different the yeasts, mouth. though? Oh, there's so many. There's, I mean, like, what what kind of so options many. with the Here, yeast? Listen, listen. Because I've we, I've heard of like a champagne yeast in a cider. Champagne and, uh, Ryan Hartman. Oh well, God, yeah. I know. I've heard of it. I, I'm not like advocating, but <clears throat> no, 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 no. Champ- that that is that is one option. Champagne is good, especially for high I mean, ABV. Is there? I mean, I, I wouldn't say like, <laughs> hey, let's look up what Magners is. Well, here, doing, here, real but, quick. Hey, let's Josh. Let's look up what Magners. Let's is look doing. up what Magners is doing right here so so, so google okay, it so uh, you want to put that up uh get your little uh thingy up there yeah totally 
We'll do just the regular um, cider yeast. This is going to give us a dry, the, the dry and fruity finish that gives us the, the more of an apple yeah. and pear taste to mm -hmm. it. But, here, but here's the key, Danny. So take a look at this list. Like this is a tiny portion of the whole list. Like the yeast phase mm -hmm. is super, super deep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're gonna we'll we'll put up a champagne yeast, which is gonna be a lot sweeter. Mm -hmm. Yes, but also dry. Yep. Dry is good too. I'm I'm not like a huge fan of tons of sugar mm -hmm. in anything. But that'll also um, but but it'll, that'll also help out the tea. Yeah. If the, it if it is actually sort of dry. Yeah, I think it'll. You'll pick up the bergamot. You don't you don't want to like just it's like adding too much honey to your tea. You're just gonna lose the tea. Let's see what Magner's. Uh, Manners probably has their own um, yeah. strain, but... How's yeah. that beer treating you back there? It's it so is good, amazing. Right? It's so like... Which one is it? What's the name? It's a winner. That's the Buffalo Sunset from Buffalo Bio Brewing. A gift from Ralph the Llama. Thank you, Ralph who, the Llama. Who, like Lucifer, Thank you. has many other names. I'm, I'm still in tears is, about this cigar, BT Dubs. He is in the chat informing people. I like it. Now, so let's talk oh, about... Oh, wait, what about a white wine? Oh, see, that, that would be very... It would be crisp, but it would still allow the juiciness... Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. of the fruit. So that might be a winner, too. Yeah, French white wine. So put in champagne. Yep. I'm all for that, like super, super deep mm -hmm. flavor. Yeah, but being able to and retain as much, wine. being able to retain as much of that juice, yeah, is a, a cool play. Now, do we have one other option, or are we good with? Let's do the three. Champ, yeah, champ, uh, white wine, and was there a third one? <laughs> Just cla the classic. Oh, classic. They think cider you're used. adorbs. My husband is a Dorbs, according to the chat. You're a Dorb, you're everyone's, a Funko? Everyone's like, yeah, he's he's well, just an Adorbs. It's like, hey, yeah, it is, it's just support. He is it's a Dorbs just, when he's that far away. He's playing support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just stay back there. We don't we don't need to close up or anything. Yeah, okay. I'm excited. That's a this winner. Is... Yeah, see, because I feel like that white wine yeast is such a it's such a tasteful. Yeah. Right. It's a different way to look at it, right? Selection. Yeah. And that's right? really the thing with Scrummy is that she's making very informed decisions silently on whether or not she even likes you. Well, exactly. <laughs> but she, the has, manifestation she has some taste that. in yeah, here. The manifestations seem like bizarre. Yeah. But there's a plan. There's a plan in the there. The whole time. Yeah. Well, what's really funny about this is I, I love that Scrummy um, contacts uh, Strix. Because Holly <laughs> herself has the same test that she'll test you on your D and D lore, and you won't even know it's happening. Yeah. So before she makes a makes your uh, an opinion on you, she she's, knows all about you. Yeah. No, dude, yeah. I am just yeah. based on how yeah. I'm, I'm how you're talking. Fan number one, yeah. and like a big part of it is just like there is not there isn't another version of Holly. No. Yeah. Like. She's just Holly. She's like, just Holly. You meet Holly, you have met Holly. There isn't like some other Holly yeah. that's like waiting or doing any of this assessment. <laughs> like she's just right there and she's just completely legit. So that's why I really like the fact that both of these characters are talking to each other because it's perfect. Yeah. It's absolutely perfect. Holly and I built the goblins yeah. for D D last year, so we've been in contact for a oh, long for time. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, she built those, yeah. those were great. Yeah, were that ridiculous. was me and Holly, and we had so much fun. Thanks, James. Hey. Uh, so yeah, we're gold on this one. Yeah, white I think I think the is. white wine yeast won so out. So juicy. Hey, I'm fa I'm fascinated. So to good see job. What happens. Wow. Good job. Like guys. Danny, this is great. Like this is the first time we've done a cider, but you've also allowed us to experiment with pieces we would have never touched. I wouldn't have called that stuff. I, I mean, would have never called the pure Yeah, tea you know, ever. I was going no, exactly, but I was going I was going with the hop thing, and we would have gotten there. Oh, I've yeah. had hop ciders, but it's it's the wrong note. Yeah. It's yeah, the it's wrong not, note. It's not and down here exactly, enough. Exactly, exactly. And it's not going to add the color. Like yeah. the thing about this tea is that it's actually going to be. Is it going to be green? Real weird looking. Yeah. No, 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 no because yes. it's so aged. Yeah. It's just going to be real weird looking. Yes. But it's going to be like. Okay. That is scrummy. It's going to be okay. It's going to be so good. No, I can't, I can't wait. wait. I can't wait. Guys, we got to name this thing. Well, no, we do. Oh we do. my god. I didn't this, even remember this, that. I don't even know. Yeah, like, ah, this hey, is going to be crazy. Your own acquisition's we, intoxicated now. I yeah. forgot. <laughs> There's a lot involved here. 
Oh my god. I don't even know. I mean, So here we okay. need we need a name for this tea. This So concoction. just remember, she serves Zugtmoy, the queen of fungi. So think about things that are deep. Deep. Clammy. Wet. Gross. Yucky. Dirty. Scrummy, scrum, scummy, scrum. scrumpy. Oh! Shroom weaver? Shroom weaver! <laughs> I, I believe I'm going through the I, night. Yeah. Oh, man. Hag's heart? Oh. Hag's heart. Oh. Pond scrum. Pond scrum. Oh, my ah. God. Bog grog? Yes. <laughs> what? Scrum bag? Oh. Scrum bag. <laughs> oh, God. Wouldn't it be weird if she actually Pond just kept scrum. it in a pouch? Oh, like, and just pulled it out? Well, yeah, because all you, you, just, you just put the things in there. Yeah. yeah. And then it'd be fine if you had it with you. Yeah. You just make your own supply. This is something she hands out to people. Yeah, exactly. And you don't know what's going to exactly. happen when you drink it. So but... there is a there is a fermented there's a fermented milk, uh, like an alcoholic drink, from Mongolia. Mare's hmm. milk, right? What's that? Mare's milk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's horse milk, and <laughs> basically the way that it works is that you just have this like pouch on your door, <laughs> and you just hang it there, <laughs> and then you have the milk in there. And then whenever you come in and out, you give it a couple stirs to keep the fermentation going. <laughs> come on. No, it's fucking legit. It is a real fucking thing. I, I, I'm telling you. Yeah, I, I saw it on Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> right? But he I'm knows saying, things. Yeah. Exactly. He's but pretty I'm useful. It's, it's, it's real. It's a real thing. But here, so we have scrum bag. Pond scrum pond seems scrum is to be killer. such the wow. favorite. I love pond Scrummer scrum. Scrummer slam, yes, for all the WWE yeah. fans. All right. That is awesome. Oh, Kumis? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Mila Kumis. I, I, really, I really love Pond Scrum. Cider adjacent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bog Grog is also yeah, good. Yeah, Bog Grog is good. Bog Grog is good. Oh, that's a fun name. Yeah, somebody said Scrummy's Pond Scrum. I already messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. We have Scrummy's Scummy Scrumpy, which was incredibly <laughs> difficult to type. I want yeah, to tell you I'm that sure. Yeah. But Pond Scrum is, Pond is Scrum running is away. Pond Scrum is super good. That's really good. That's amazing. It's got an intense flavor. I like it. Right? <laughs> oh, here's a fun story. Fire away. Um, I was watching uh, Great British, British Bake Off. Indeed. And uh, an Mary Berry says the word scrummy to describe something delicious. And I've heard this several oh, times from other people now. Yeah, like, but she well, was the first it's one. Scrumptious. It's scrumptious, but shorter. It's the colloquial it's version. The, yeah. yeah. So scrummy. that's that's where I heard the word scrummy, and yeah. I just had to draw up this character Dude, super that's quick killer. at my friend's house, and I was like, "Uh, scrummy is a funny word. Let's go with that." So it's yeah, it's a winner. But it's so perfect. It's the best word ever. Okay, I studied Mongolian history. Can confirm fermented goat or horse milk. Sometimes mixed with oh, garlic blood. or there horse's blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, horse's no, 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 no. blood. What? Because here's the key. It's savory. <gasps> it's a savory. Like it'll like make you live longer. Type of savory. Like... No, 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 no. Like it's a, it's a, it's not like. I would try it. Our alcohols <laughs> tend to be in a specific sure, vein. Sure, sure, sure. It's sure. sweeter. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? Like yeah. we have specific ideas about how that's supposed to this go. This tastes more like a steak and blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Great. is actually like a. This is a like a hearty. Uh, liquor that you make from milk. Oh, well, the Saint the Saint Brian is asking what food I want with this. Oh, oh, oh yes, let's listen, talk dude, about you this. want to talk to this yes. motherfucker? I yeah. know I do because I follow him on Twitter, I think, and I love everything that they dude, post. He, the shit that he came up with at the Drawn and Courtier oh, at Unplugged. My, yeah, at the literal Drawn and Courtier. I missed this party. It was killer. <laughs> You'll never miss it. Again. I was sleeping. It's okay. Well, <laughs> we so what's it. amazing it's is we found out later. Clues and the Saint Brian found out they can rent a space in the, um, in the terminal, Reading terminal, the Reading Terminal yeah. Market after hours <gasps> to form a live Drawn and Courtier for next year. Oh yeah. my God. So it's, it's like We're this. We're doing this. He put together a vat. A silo of pork belly, of smoked pork belly chili. Jeebus. Oh, man. It was unreal. It was bonkers. I would, I would say it was for, an for this, like with all that fruit. Um, yeah, how do, I you, mean, how like, do you tamp it down? See, the thing is, I would love a mushroom based dish. Oh, and some of, some get of my that's favorite. How you get it in there. Get in there of, that way. Some of my favorite mushroom dishes are like a mushroom stroganoff. Oh, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like something real hearty. 
that you need that fruit drink to balance out. Yeah, exactly. Like a, it's on the other side of the scale, right? Like a stew, like a steak, like yes. a like like um, meaty yes, things yes, yes. that go with the mushroom. Well, exactly. But mushroom so itself to make it savory. A mushroom, mushroom dish itself. Yeah. Can can have that savory. Yeah. Fifth taste. Yes. Right. So think about that. Yeah. I mean that could that could be ballin'. All I can think of is the fifth element. Well, no, no. The, but you, you can know. smoke. But you can smoke mushrooms, and that'll get it. That'll, that'll get them into a right spot. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'll, that'll move things in the right I'm direction. I'm all about cooking with mushrooms. Like, oh, like I, I'm stew, nuts like about mushroom it. stew, brothy sort of like real no. hearty so flavors. So on my on my birthday, Ooh, mushroom. Wow. So in my house, if it's your birthday, yes. what's that? Mushroom uh, risotto. Lightning Fast said mushroom risotto. No, that's beast. Viking Goat said kimchi stew. Yeah, oh, kimchi, man. kimchi, kim, yeah. So yeah. Whoa, spicy. mushroom camembert so risotto. Is that a thing? Can we make that? Mushroom camembert risotto is the winner. Those are like three of my favorite titles. All I know. In one. Oh. I know. Camembert is. Oh. Camembert may we. If it's like a triple cream, no, 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 way no, past this, the this date. Is, this is your thing, right? No, this it's is filth. it. You just want more filth. More filth. Exactly, but then yeah, but then you have the cider to yeah. sort of cut into it, right? Yes, yeah, that's exactly what it needs. It mm -hmm. needs that creamy, mm -hmm. like way too rich of a flavor that yeah. the cider makes edible. Yeah. More rich than was originally intended. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's cheese that has transformed itself into a sauce. Yes, yeah. Perfect. So, so uh, Saint Brian, what are you thinking? What, what are you, now that we've <clears throat> kind of discussed all this? What is uh, what's on your palate or your agenda for creating this dish to go along with this? Oh my god. Cider. I'm excited. I, yeah, I, I always love, like after the fact, it's like, what, like six hours later, St. Brian has a photo of what he's created and it's like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's bonkersville. But see, the, here's the thing, right? It's like, now we know. Yeah. We've, we have tasted the, like, the, we, the we glory know what he, of what he cooks. We know what he can do the at only this thing, point. The one thing I really want, and it's for my love of grilled cheeses, he made a grilled cheese that looked absolutely oh, that unreal. With that farm bread, and it's the only thing I—it's it, it, on my number one. I, if it has to get sent to me, I don't care. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was his crazy expensive one, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I was drooling through Twitter. Um, oh, steak, steak and, and, and smoked mushroom, mushroom risotto. risotto. Oh my god. Yeah, people are talking about chanterelles and morels. That is oh, delicious. Yeah, it's got to be, yes. be a blend. It it's got to be, be a blend, blend right? of mushrooms you've never heard of. It has to be sort of a, like, a, like, yeah. a, like a foraged kind of Found deal. Found mushrooms deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love chanterelles on pizza. Oh, okay. Oh, no, dude, man. this is this is going to be A plus beast. I know. This is going to be A plus. I hey, know. so now it's 114. We might actually have it a chance to kick out some answers to questions today. Yeah. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we head right up to the end. And we don't have an opportunity. No, we were on top of this. No. Got we it handled. Dealt. Um, <laughs> the first one comes from so, Morton Joe. Morton Joe, I owe you an email back. Um, but did you guys like the sake that Clues brought on my behalf at the Ack Inc. meetup? Remember how we had that sake? It was from a Morton Joe. He couldn't make oh, it. No, no, but that's true. It. And it was so, so good. Well, there's a lot. Oh no! We all need right. to open this all right. too. Oh, all, right. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. We, we are almost done here with well, the sampling. Get, you know. I just want to push us along here. Okay, into Danny, the... listen. <laughs> it's uh, okay. It's. We'll it's... be careful, okay? We'll be careful. We know what we're doing. We're right. adults. We can handle it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be happy to see yeah. Thank he'll God. help. He'll help. Just share it on the process. He's no, no. here to help. No. The husband <laughs> is a fresh horse. Yes. He can he can tank some of this damage here. He actually can. It's I will jump on that grenade. <laughs> yes, he'll jump on the grenade for us. He's being so kind. Shinny, do you like blue or uh, red or blue apples? Damn it, it was a joke I was making. Both. I know I like, you want it. I like I blue apples. <laughs> oh, that foam is so dark. <laughs> Don't give me t that's enough, thank you. Oh no, we're, this is all we get. Chris, glass. Husband. <laughs> husband. Enjoy. Just finish it. <laughs> no, that's what we have to do. We, we, we just like minimize. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a little down. and then you finish that. Um, Saint, uh, Danny, what is your Twitter handle for St. Brian? At Danny Hartel. Yeah. Just yeah. my name. No spaces, no nothing. And you're a 1L Hartel. I am, yes, I am a 1L Hartel. I think it's technically Hartel, so there are family oh, see, members all Nightbot, over the world Nightbot, saying... Nightbot has got you yeah, in Oh yeah, they already got you in Yeah! There. I'm Mammoth, official you, now, you're, you guys. You're near the Black Forest for the mushrooms. Are you serious? Are you serious? Stop it. Who? Who? Boy. Yeah. No. Ooh, it's like soy sauce. No, I had some. I had some last night. 
good. Like it's here. Good. Wow, you're right. It's like, okay, so here, it here, smells here, like soy. Let, let, let me read it here. So this. Read it. This evil liquid. Whoa! Is, is an imperial stout, aged yeah. on coffee. Cocoa nibs, mm -hmm. vanilla beans, and chili peppers. I should have mentioned the chili peppers. Thank that you, must have been unnatural. Unnaturalones.com. So no, I should have mentioned it before. There is chili peppers in it. I should have. That oh, should no, have, I, I read it. Okay, but... that should have been on the on the very wow, beginning. That's wild. I think we're also bearing the lead that it's thirteen percent. It's thirteen percent. I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. It's basic. It's like a <laughs> barley wine. Like it's Bonkersville. God. Um, but here, here. So don't forget, uh, Inky can take your questions. Mm -hmm. Hashtag question inside. Uh, the chat, uh, dish us up because we have a few minutes here to I'm a fan to of answer your questions. Beer. Oh, um, Kyber, fantastic name by the yeah. way. Um, we haven't done a blonde beer, but also somebody I think it was at Unplugged. Correct oh, me if I'm wrong. Somebody so put me on to a blonde stout, and I had never well, yeah, had you, a blonde. Hold stout on, you were trying you were trying to tell me this earlier. Like that seems like a contradiction in terms. I mean, right. I think of a stout as being something that has low bittering. Yeah. Right, but has a lot of cocoa and coffee taste from roasted malts. Like, yeah. I don't even—I don't know how you get a blonde malt. I'm—I'm I'm gonna look. I'm looking into it, and I'm trying to develop some recipes for it. Well, see if this has a blonde stout. And I'm sure it does, but right, and that—that that should give us some basics, right? By the way, I can't feel my mouth anymore. Oh, well, it's gone. <laughs> no, the mouth has been obliterated. The mouth is gone. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Only just Question, a blonde ale. Question, Danny, how are you so awesome? I don't know. No, Danny's a baller. I don't know. <laughs> 100%. Thank you. Danny That's Ball's out of control. Wait, 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 what did it say? Pedro, Pedro just said, thank you for making Mike not wear jeans in 2018. Oh, oh, that's a, that's. Oh a, no! See, because they want they want a real Jim Dark Man. They want oh, real Jim Dark Man. Really? You know what though? He's ready. They were like, like I've talked I to him really about it. I really hope that Danny being involved means that Jim Dark Magic is no longer wearing blue jeans. Yeah, yeah. And they now, were upset about those blue jeans. So online. Brenna, Brenna made the cape right a long time ago. Yeah. And she will she will gladly let you become the costumer Thank for Jim. Thank you, Brenna. Easy peasy. I don't want to step on toes anywhere. I know No, that no, no. You guys the have The one us. thing the one thing that she did put inside uh, Jim's cape is that it does have a dice bag. <laughs> a pocket? A secret no no a secret dice bag that you can actually reach in and take oh out. God, that's funny. Because she's a baller. I like it. I mean, like, we're gonna need to put some doves in there. Oh yeah. There's gonna. We you need know. dove cannons. Like, we need we need a, we need a thing like like the confetti guns. <laughs> yeah. But like full of doves. Like when he hits the stage, like soft <laughs> doves should like. <laughs> Can it just be like feathers though? Like the oh, yeah. cannons just obliterated and the doves. And a sound of a, and a <laughs> squawk. <laughs> <laughs> Sound effects. There should be some central wad in the middle. Of it. Yeah, yeah, there should yeah, be yeah. A wad of feathers. Just, just an just... undifferentiated <laughs> sphere. I'm gonna have so I have so many ideas for every other character from Akin. Do you have any ideas for Omen Drawn? Yeah. Because that's my character. Yeah, it is your character. Is it? I, <laughs> I have, drawings already. I have drawings already. There's you've seen drawings. You, you've seen the the drawings, but uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, he he needs to be more paladiny. He, he, yes. He needs Whoa. a style. And also like... Oh, oh I see. So, wait, so the black mask of Waterdeep isn't stylish enough? No, 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 no hang on. So I, 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 so I don't for know. you, I don't know. So mm -hmm. for you, um, as a paladin, it's actually important that he enunciates something more about his rank, just in his mode of dress. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this. I mean like... Clothing is very confusing for me, as, I mean, as is clearly the case. <laughs> By your Christmas Star Wars leggings. Hey, there is nothing wrong with these leggings. <laughs> no, these they're fantastic. No, they are fantastic. Yeah, but, but but tell me more about that because it because I mean, it does imply station. I mean, it like, actually it actually does. I He's think, a cleric technically. I think there should be like uh, what are they called? Better pauldrons. Um, pauldrons. Not pauldrons. The uh, Vraska has these on her epaulets. Mm -hmm. Sort of like insignia, they're, they're like little, military. They're little. Oh, they're, they're the little ranks designs. that go here. Rank stuff. You know, like like the shoulder, mm -hmm. the rope things, mm -hmm. the the badges of honor. Oh, I could give you sort tons of, of things. I mean, like obviously, That's cool. we wouldn't just copy those. We would bring them into your world, decide what you had earned as a paladin of honor, what those would look like in that world. You know. Just, just saying. I mean, like, I need to get everybody. to know Omen more before I can design for him. Because this is, this is too. I much. need to know where he comes from. Where did he get this shit? Yeah. Did he? I know, you know all of it. I can hook you up. You um, need to tell me all about him before we can, I can really get in there. I can hook it. Um, uh, I need to answer Red Dart right now. 
Old Speckled Hen is one of my favorite beers, and I'm I'm not afraid to admit it. Oh, is it out? Is it East Coast? Um, it's a, it's a it's a UK beer. Oh, oh so it's an import. I haven't seen it. it. I haven't seen it on the West Coast yet, but I've had it. It's all over the East Coast. And well, hey man, listen, I hit him up uh, for cues, and now we have a yeah, ton. we've got so, tons of them. So why don't you, you crack in there? Um, While you read, I just want to tell everybody that if you're in Colorado, you need to visit the Left Hand Brewery. Oh, yeah, great. Yes, I've been do. there. They are very nice people, and they got me so <coughs> drunk. It was beautiful. It's <laughs> they yeah. are, their milk stout is something you have to try. Mm -hmm. They try everything else they have, too. It's um, Tyler, you mentioned Boddington's being a blonde stout. It's, Boddington's has a whole line, and it's, ah. it's, it's very close. Yeah, absolutely very close. Um, here's a good question. Uh, this kind of ties back to our cosplay stream. Yeah. Um, it said, uh, Red Lauren, uh, who's um, our, our friend Random Tuesday, who's teaching me how to sew. Mm -hmm. um, this is from Bob the Goldfish. Uh, you know she's qualified at teaching special needs, Eric. Oh. Yes, I'm a special needs child. So okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta, um, you, gotta, you gotta grow into that. But role. the question is, Danny, what is the most, uh, what is the most people you have ever seen try and read a beer label? What? I'm, I'm reading that right, right? I don't get it. Bob, clarify that and we'll come back to you. Yeah, yeah. Question for Chris Ron. What? Archetype of finality is one of my favorite cards of all time. I've always wondered though, what sort of information do you get for inspiration when creating the art? I'll answer this for him because he's not Mike. I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying <laughs> um, to get out of the way of him. He, he, gets, he gets descriptions from the, from Watsi They're and yeah, like it's assignments. So, um, oh, it's D and C. Joke they're they're pre-inspired, and then they just tell him what to do. He he doesn't. I mean, like he adds his own flavor, obviously, but uh, well, but they have it, a concept. It, really, it depends on the assignment, how much creativity they're looking for. Like the more important the card is, usually the more reference you're going to get. So that right. it's really like this is what this guy looks like. We it needs to be consistent. But if it's if it's kind of a more obscure thing, a lot of times they'll be like, we just need a dragon. Like, so for cool okay, so you're not mic'd, so they couldn't hear you. But like, it depends Did on you? the card. Um, if it's a really important card, they'll lay all that out for him already, um, and then he doesn't have as much leeway. But if it's more of like a like a common or a, something like that, they'll give him more leeway, and then he can put his own inspiration in there. But or for if it just doesn't happen to have concept. Oh, yeah, yeah, for for archetype of finality, was she's, that she's just a gorgon. She's just a Gorgon. So I think... She's got the mixed star field effect and all of her shadow shapes. So yeah, so that. I think for Archetype, they they figured all that out for him. So ask Watsy that question. <laughs> <laughs> um, another question is, when we travel, um, do you prioritize finding local breweries? Yes. If yes, how do you find them? I think we always do. Like whenever we hit a PAX or whenever, we hit, you know, yep. whenever we're going anywhere, is we're always hitting local breweries. Absolutely. Um, well, you, uh, that's, that's basically... You know, just like you're saying, you go to the local grain shop and it's like, so beer, in addition to being a product and a process, it's also a culture. Mm -hmm. And I think if you go to a new place, like it's important to be deferent right. to that place right. because there's things that are occurring there right. that don't occur where you live mm -hmm. and you have to approach it with respect. Like well, we, that, that is something we love to do yeah. when we go to a new place. Well, look, like when we went to Unplugged, we were on the East Coast and you were trying the East Coast yeah, IPA. Everybody was, everybody was like, Listen, like I'm, I'm just like, this is a fucking IPA. <laughs> yeah, and you're exactly. Like, no, this like, is not an IPA. No, no, no. But the East Coast is doing something like their IPA mm -hmm. construct, like the whole template for it is different. Mm -hmm. we, you know, over over here, it's all about dank and juicy. Right. Thanks about you're, it, it, these are that's happening over here. Right. These East Coast IPAs are really leaning toward a lot of floral tastes. Floral and flavor. And I'd never bitter. And I'd never, I'd never experienced anything like that. Right. And so it's it's super super important. I mean, everywhere you go. Yeah. Everywhere you go, trying to find that. Right. And and, and an easy way to do it, um, there's an app called Untapped. Um, this is like the like a social media. Yeah, it's like Goodreads, but for yeah, but beer. for beer, like you get to sign in, you pick where you're, you know, what beer you're having, where you're having it. Oh, and, and you listen, find you're breweries. in for a treat. Yeah. If you have never been to, if you've never been to the beer, like the big beer reviewing sites. Yeah. When you 
read people's descriptions of beer. Yeah. Like I like beer. I like to drink beer. Obviously, I like to take it seriously. I like to make it with my friends. Packs untapped. I but agree. when you when you start getting into these <laughs> these descriptions that people are writing in here are redonk. Yeah. They're redonk. But but I will give you one piece of advice. If you download Untapped, do not link it to your Twitter account. <laughs> Because everybody will think you're an alcoholic oh, because every, it every tweets time out you, every time you have a beer. Oh my god, really? That's bad news. That's not a good thing. Nobody needs to know that. That's not a good thing for my lifestyle. Nobody needs to know that. So what else you got? Have you... Uh, <laughs> Jerry, have you tried to think of clothes as a language? I hate... Maybe you could learn what? something deeper that way. Also, well, I want a sci-fi story where only one form of communication is clothes. No, so basically, I have a very specific thing. I basically dress like a cartoon character. I have like, I literally have one pair of pants and usually I can figure it out. Yeah. But they didn't get in the dryer on time and I had to take Ronya to school. So I had to wear these, like this is literally my life, like it's balanced on the edge of a knife. And, you know, clothing (laughs) is very challenging for me. I try not to think about it at all. I try to only wear blacks and blues. In my mind, that's... So you're just Steve Jobs. Well, yeah, and I'm, I'm the I'm the short, fat Steve Jobs, and bald. Right. Um, Didn't he have multiples of the same thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. He did have it multiples black, of the black, same black, thing. And so black. you might want to upgrade to like, a couple <laughs> pairs of the same pants. But here, but what I'm saying is you that all pairs of leggings. Well, like, well yeah, like, exactly. But it's like I thought that I was sidestepping clothing by standardizing, but it turns out that you're still saying something when you wear the same thing every day. You are always saying something. Yeah, I know, and it's terrifying. Like, <laughs> I'm not trying to, I, I just, I don't want to think about clothes at all. In the same way, I don't want to think about hair. You know what I mean? You I don't, don't I, have I, to think about hair. I don't want to be a part of this conversation, <laughs> but I get stuck in it. Uh, I'm constantly punished for it. <laughs> Here's a really good question. What do you think about the addition of something like black peppercorn uh, oh. To accentuate the peppery aspects of some hops. Absolutely. Absolutely. But for Tet, that would be out of control. Yeah. And you often you see a lot of black peppercorn in saison. Yeah. Well, I've done a black pepper saison, and it tastes absolutely are you, phenomenal. Are you down with saison? I don't know. Saison's great. But yeah. uh, acquisitions intoxicated brewmaster Eric Benson. So please sa- inform Danny about the saison. A saison is a lighter flavored beer. It's mm-hmm. it's it's. I want to say it's it's in between a pilsner and an IPA, but you're getting these. Um, you're it's gonna, other tastes. Yeah, it's other tastes. It's not the typical taste you would normally go through. Hmm. Um, Spicy tastes, cloves. You you can have soured uh, saisons yeah. as well, um, but it's it's going to be think Sounds like I'd be down. Think light, refreshing in summer, and that's how I always describe saisons. I know I've had one, but I can't remember whether like. I don't remember disliking it, so that's good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it seems like it'd be your deal. But yeah. there's something about putting um, black pepper into it. And the way I did it was we actually poured black pepper right into the boil. Ground so, or in the corn? Uh, ground. Yeah. Well, we ground, the, you know, you take the corn, For ground real? it. And you would get it. It wasn't the, too much? No, you'd get it right on the back end as you were drinking. Like, it'd be on the back of your tongue. But how would you ever get it out of there? Or do you just put a small <laughs> amount in Yeah, you, you don't need much. You wouldn't, right? No, you don't need much. Okay. Cool. Um, and you, you you can put it in a um, cheesecloth bag, a hot bag, other other things. To, Delicious. Yeah. You know. Okay. So let's grab a couple more, and then I'll head back and hang out with my boy. Yeah. Your boy. My boy. You have to tell my favorite I said porter. Hi. Here, What's I, I your can favorite do that. Porter? Favorite porter. So favorite porter is definitely the one that I brought home um, from Ralph the Llama's box. That pecan pie porter is out of control. <laughs> Like, I was really, really impressed with it. Now, I did not read the label. <laughs> Which you should do. So, you know, my conversations with Brenna that evening were very interesting. <laughs> um, but uh, the flavor and the, the syrupy uh, texture of it was so good. That's rad. Um, Danny, what's it going to take to get Omen into something embarrassing? Nothing. <laughs> Omen, is, take, Omen is serious business. It will take so little. I don't know. It depends on what you what you consider embarrassing because it all depends on whether or not you're embarrassed. Are you easily embarrassable? Very rarely. I was gonna say. I embarrass myself in my own comic. Like I write <laughs> myself as a bad person. I was gonna say like I don't know what it would take to embarrass you. So. Well, here's here's the here's the deal. So <laughs> when we do 2.0 of Omen, mm-hmm. 2.0 Omen. Think about that. 2.0 uh, Omen. So Jeff is always getting mad at me because he buys really expensive props. 
online,、yeah. and then I throw them into the audience. Yes. <laughs> Every time, but it, with the 2.0 of Omen, I would actually want to do, like, because in current continuity he has a two-handed maul. Right.、Um, oh, and so、right. I think that I think that actually like doing,、uh, doing his maul for real. Yeah. I would never throw it into the audience again, and well, Jeff would be so happy. Now here's the thing, because I can make your maul exactly how you want. Out of foam, like flexible foam, like LARP weapon, you know. Oh, like、um, a mold. Like the whole thing is molded flexible foam.、Oh. So you could throw it in the audience, and then for another cost of the foam it takes to run the mold again, you'll have another one, which、I、is、like、not、this. a lot. I like all this. So you could throw millions of malls into the audience over the years at once and get a million malls at once、throw. if you want. Yeah, a million malls. <laughs> Mall cannons. That's right.、Uh, one more question. And then we'll one more、steps. question. I'll, I'll let you pick the questions. Okay. Because I'm going to enjoy. I saw a question I'm, on there that was gonna, interesting, but I don't want to bring it I'm up. I'm going to enjoy the prairie bomb. And it, here, so swaptastic. Here you go. Because good, good lord. No, the husband drank it all. Husband. Whoa! Huge, he, big he, surprise there. He jumped on. He jumped on that <laughs> grenade you, you, for you us. Say, you say quarter. I say probably <laughs> half. Now. <laughs> Cause damn, it's like this.、Um, so for barley wines, longer fermentation is higher ABV, right? Yeah. It's not just a higher ABV; it's also integration of the flavors, right? Right. It, it, it's a little bit of both. So you get the high ABV, which needs more time to cellar, to bring down that heat that we get that that to make that makes it medicinal. Exactly. So it doesn't、hot. taste just like alcohol, and、right. the rest of it's in there. Now, Fantastic wants to know if it is fen. With two ends, <laughs> fin with one end, fin with one end, or fin with two ends. It is fin with two ends. Last question: When will we be crafting the AI ale dedicated to Mr. Benson, brewmaster extraordinaire? Let's do I, that. Let's, yeah. Let's do that next week. No, no. I, I, next I, week. I, I brew the beers. I don't need to. <laughs> like I said, next week. <laughs> next、uh, week. Mr. Benson,、uh, we will honor him in liquid form. Thank you so much, Channel,、uh, for coming and hanging out with us. I want to thank husband. Husband.、Uh, I want to thank husband Chris Ron. I want to thank、uh, Danny Hartel,、uh, not just for her awesome costumes, but also for being an awesome guest on the show.、Right. Thanks.、Uh, can't wait to put together. Oh my god, I'm excited about this cider product. It's gonna be weird. It's a cider with a like a, like tea inside of it. It's like, gonna, it's be, gonna be so weird. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a plus. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah.